Hey everybody, welcome to Delilah's Download. Come on in. Let me get this music together. Come on in, come on in. So glad to see you guys tonight. I'm so excited to be here. It feels like I haven't been here in a while, but I know that's not true, but so happy to be here. Come on in, come on in. When you join, just say hello. We'd be ha I'd be glad to see you um, and welcome you into the space. Come on in. Gonna talk about the fire extinguisher tonight. Super excited to talk about the fire extinguisher. Um, as the word says, don't just look at the fire. Grab the extinguisher. Grab the extinguisher. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? So come on in. We'll take a couple moments um, to get a couple people to join. Amen. We listen to a little praise music while we wait. Yes. That's a word. You perform miracles. Amen. Welcome to Delilah's Download. Saying where I'm saying what needs to be said. Um, today it's about getting the doggone extinguisher. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, thank you guys again for joining. Uh, this was a word that God, um, that the Holy Spirit put on my heart this morning. So sorry that I was delayed in getting it to you. I'm really working on being more obedient and being prompt um, as to not delay. So this was really, um, there was actually a vision that God put in my heart, that the Holy Spirit put in my heart um, around this fire and the extinguisher. So say for instance, um, you're in a room. What I, what, the vision that came to me was standing in a room and in one corner of the room um, was a burning fire, a burning fire. And in the other corner of the room was an extinguisher. And I saw, I saw myself, I saw myself standing, looking at the fire, looking at the fire. And the Holy Spirit was prompting me to get the extinguisher. Don't just look at the fire, get the extinguisher and put the fire out. So when we have things come up in our, my, in our life, and this is what the Holy Spirit continued to just reveal to me. When we have things coming up in our, our life, um, be it our, our, um, our household, be it our, our family is on fire, right? The enemy is coming against our family, looking to divide our family and tear it apart. Um, be it our ministry, our ministry is on fire. Our friendships are on fire. Um, our marriages are on fire. Our finances are on fire. Our dreams are on fire. Like we're sitting here watching the fire burn instead of grabbing the extinguisher to put the fire out. And what the Holy Spirit put on my heart about what the extinguisher was, was the prophetic word of God, was the prophetic word of God. So what we're, where we're called to prophesy, um, prophesy the word of God um, over our lives, over our lives. And prophecy is one of the gifts, right, that's available to everybody, right, that's available to everybody. And the verses out the Bible, um, the places in the Bible that the Holy Spirit took me to, one came out the devotional, it was kind of triggered from my devotional, I believe. Um, one came out the devotional where we're in Ezekiel 37, um, where this is basically where Ezekiel is being challenged by God to, he's, he's looking at the dry bones saying, do you see these dry bones? Do you believe there's life in these dry, dry bones? And he commands, um, he commands Ezekiel to prophesy to the dry bones, to speak to the dry bones, to speak to the dry bones. So when we, when we speak to the dry bones, or in this case, we take the fire extinguisher to put the fire out, we're supposed to speak the word of God over this fire, right? So if this thing is, a, whatever it's attacking, we're, we have this extinguisher and we're just spraying. I just saw this a vision of just having an extinguisher and I'm just spraying this extinguisher. I'm just spraying this extinguisher and I'm saying, um, there's no weapon formed against me that will prosper. Um, there's nothing that will be exalted in my mind uh, above, the, above the name of Christ, that everything will bow to the name of Jesus, that I have the mind of Christ. That I am above and not beneath. I am. I am. I am no longer just looking at the fire. Amen. I am no longer just watching the fire consume everything. I have grabbed my extinguisher, my prophetic word of God, not my words, God's words from the word of God. I have grabbed my my extinguisher, the prophetic word of God, and I am spraying this fire. Right. I'm extinguished in this thing that is attempting to destroy um, whatever part of my life that 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 is currently. Um, that the enemy is currently trying to come against. So when he told Ezekiel, you see these dry bones, you know how to get rid of these dry bones, right? 
speak to these dry bones. Tell these dry bones what they will do. And another place where he took me in the word was Mark 11. This is Mark 11, around 22, 23. And this is Jesus with the disciples where Jesus rolls up on the um, fig tree and the fig tree doesn't have any fruit. So he basically curses the fig tree to tell it, well, since you don't have any fruit for me in this season, you will not provide food to anyone else. And and the disciples was like, man, look, look, Rabbi, the, the tree you curse is just completely withered. And Jesus says, you know, basically that's not just what you can do. You think the fig tree is something. You also have the power to tell a mountain to throw itself into the sea. So to speak to a thing, to speak to a thing. And, and it was really interesting here because in the NIV version in Mark 11 verse 22, it says, have faith in God. So when we, when we prophesy, so to take it a little bit further, right? So what we've established so far is that when we see a thing burning, when we see a fire burning, we extinguish it with the prophetic word of God. We go to the word of God, see what God has to say, and we speak to that situation in our life in order to heal and restore. All about the healing and restoration ministry, amen. Um, we speak to that thing in order to heal it and destroy it, and we grab our extinguisher and we just sweep. And as we're sweeping, before we move on to... Um, move on to this one particular verse as we're sweeping we're praising God right we're speaking the word you know father you know thank you for the healing of my life thank you for the restoration thank you that you said that everything that the locust has taken will be restored father I believe your word father thank you for the full armor of God praise God father thank you for sending yourself we're in praise we're in praise as we are as we are extinguishing as we are extinguishing this fire that is attempting to come against us with the prophetic word that we're speaking over our situations in our lives and with the praise of God praise was also used as a form of a form a form of battle right so if we come against the enemy if we come against situations speaking the prophetic word of God and praising God these things have no no um, alternative but to bow in the name of Jesus hey husband <laughs> thanks for joining thanks for joining um, so yeah, so why are we watching the fire? Why not get the extinguisher? So going on into Mark 11, Mark 11, 22, where Jesus is talking to the disciples and he's, he's telling them, have faith in God, Jesus answered, have faith in God. So when we're speaking the prophetic word over our situation, it's not just speaking the word of God like it's the text. There's a thing, there's a difference between believing and having faith. And it's so interesting that I had shared this word with my auntie earlier today, and she and I got into this particular piece of the discussion. And when, when, I, when I thought about it, what the Holy Spirit put on my heart was, there's a difference between believing and having faith. Believing in my mind in its simplest form is, there's something re written here in this information, and I believe it, right? I believe that God talked to Ezekiel about speaking over the, the dry bones. I believe that Jesus had these encounters with the disciples about the fig tree and the mountains. I believe that. Faith comes in where when I believe it happens for them, I also have the faith that it can happen for me. Faith to me is the information manifested. So when we're speaking to a thing, when we're speaking to a thing, I have the, I have the mind of Christ. Um, I have authority and dominion over everything that, that, that crawls around the earth. I have authority over all scorpions and, and serpents. When I'm speaking that, I can't just, you, we can't just speak it like it's information, like, oh, I believe that. We have to have faith that that thing is going to manifest, right? I believe that I have the Abrahamic blessings, that I am a blessing and I'm blessed to be a blessing, that I am the mother of nations, right? I, I, I have, I, I have faith that that's true and that God will allow that to manifest in my life. Um, there was another piece here and I, I'm, I'm not going to save it. I'm going to dive, I'm going to dive into it now. Um, we're in that same area when we talk about Mark 11 around 22. Um, if we actually, if we actually go up, it's where Jesus, Jesus was upset about the, about the fig tree and told the fig tree, basically it wouldn't bear any more fruit. He actually told, he, it actually notes that he approached the tree out of season. He approached the, the tree out of season. And I was looking for the word. Yeah, it's in 12. The next day as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry, 13. Seeing in the distance a fig tree and leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves because it was 
out it was not in not the season for figs and Jesus still cursed the tree and what that reminded me of was bringing me to second Timothy um, and, and um, chapter 4 when it talks about we need to be prepared in season and out of season we have to be prepared in season and out of season so when we feel like we're speaking the word of God when we when we don't feel like speaking a word of God we're still required obligated to speak to those things that are coming up in our life we cannot allow the, the enemy to have footing stronghold in our life we must take the word of God and in order to take the word of God we must know and study the word of God and speak to that thing. Don't sit back watching the fire, fam. Don't just sit back and watch your marriage be consumed in fire. Watch your children be consumed in fire. Your career be consumed in fire. You're just sitting back like, oh, look at the fire burn. Oh, my kids will never be what I what I dreamed them to, I dreamt them to be. Oh, I'll never be promoted the way I thought I was gonna be promoted. Oh, I should be somewhere doing something with this ministry. Oh, you just like you're just watching the thing burn. You're just sitting there watching it burn. Grab the fire extinguisher and just start spraying that thing. Just start spraying it with the prophetic word of God. And as you're doing it, giving praise to the Almighty, to the Alpha and the Omega. So fam, just a word on restoring what the enemy is trying to take. Speaking to those fires that have become ablaze in our homes um, and, and in our lives. Speaking the prophetic word and being ready to do so when you feel like it and when you don't. In season and out of season. That's what I had. Delilah's downloads. Um, until next time, family. I love you guys. Take care. Grab your doggone extinguishers. Don't just let that thing just consume whatever it is with the blaze. You're in control. You have dominion and authority. And God has given that to you. Until next time, family. Take care. I love you guys.